to reduce the likelihood that the kid ever ends up going into the psychiatric hospital. And to do that, um, there's a rationale for doing that because it turns out that um, the amount of time that somebody is psychotic before they receive treatment relates to very poor outcome. That um, the treatment response is best early in the illness. Um, in the same way that um, treating very early signs of cancer is much more effective than treating later stages, it's more effective to treat early stages of major mental illness. Um, and there's less of a loss of function and treatment resistance if you, present it, if you prevent repeated relapses. And early intervention can improve functional outcome. That's starting to be shown. The early intervention work has been done most consistently in Great Britain and Australia, although it's starting to be shown here in the US, um, in Maine, and some other areas. And then finally, um, you can tailor the treatment pathways and therapies for early treatment and rehabilitation. So if the kid is in school and starting to have school problems, you can tailor the treatment around that to get the kid back in school and functioning. Okay. And Faye, would you mind forwarding the slides up? I don't like using this right now. Just use the arrow. And, and right after this, we're going to give you guys a little stretch break, and then there's a few more things sure. over on the counter. People want to refill their coffee sir. cups and things like that, and then we'll have a little changeover and some time for Q&A okay. after that. So, so um, the treatment model that we have now in our clinic, the last slide I'll show you is our clinic information, is we have a multidisciplinary treatment team. We have adult and child psychiatrists, we have social workers and psychologists, and we have an employment and education specialist whose job it is to go into the school and work with the teachers to develop IEPs and get the kids back in school. Um, we're a rapid response, so if we get a referral call, we get back to the referral source within two days and um, provide extensive assessment. Okay. And um, the setting is um, outside of the community mental health setting, so we have a nice outpatient clinic in Sacramento. It's on. Um, it's near the Coca-Cola bottling plant. Um, that's where everybody knows. Um, um, Stockton Boulevard, just off the highway. Um, we provide medication management and individual and group therapy. Um, again, advocacy. So really, the goal is recovery. And the idea is not to have somebody in a sheltered workshop, but to have them back in the employment setting, to have the kids back in school, and we have resources to support that. Okay. And a uh, central part of the treatment model is a multifamily support group, which allows families to come together, and we provide psychoeducation, we provide education about the illness, but then the, the meeting is really focused around identifying a problem that a family is having. The whole group decides on what is the solution, how do we operationalize the solution, and the family members really become the leaders of the group because they've, they've been living it and experiencing it and becomes a resource for families. Okay. So I know this was very quick, but um, the name of our clinic is the EDAP Clinic, the Early Diagnosis and Preventative Treatment. We have nine to five hours Monday to Friday. Um, this is our phone number, and most importantly, this is our website, earlypsychosis.ucdavis.edu, which has a link to the Early Psychosis Program. It has downloadable information, it has downloadable PowerPoint presentations, it has a lot of information that I wasn't able to give you here, including all of our emails and contact information. So I welcome you to um, contact it. We take um, referrals for the existing psychosis program from all over the area. Um, the EDIP program, the very early psychosis program, is right now at the catchment is within Sacramento. Um, but if you're outside of catchment, we can certainly make referrals as well. So thank you for your attention.